Hi everybody. I wanted to share with you the final issue of the Pace Setter Fanzine. It's issue number 17 as you can see. And this is Pace Setter is the fanzine devoted to fans of the late George Paris. Um, this is a spectacular magazine. Um, one that I actually purchased in a hardcover format. And I thought I would like to share it with you because I've had a couple questions about what it entails. First off, let's take a look at the cover picture. And I apologize for the, um, for the glare, but you can see that it's a wonderful picture of Mr. Perez with his creations. You can see it's got a nice spine on it. And then you can see they did a close up of that front picture, which is very cool. This magazine was created to celebrate the life of George Paris. And as such, it is filled with testimonials and art and the like. Uh, I will share with you a little of what we've got. The book itself was uh, published through the uh, self-publishing print to order uh, lulu.com. Um, I'll offer up a uh, I'll offer up a, a link to it somewhere later. You can see the publisher is Tony Lawrence. Editor is Marcus Mavis. Uh, two uh, longtime fans of Mr. Perez who have uh, done yeoman's work in getting this done. And you can see the whole list of contributors. And they range from the biggest professionals to uh, fans just like me. So... You can see that we start with, uh, we've got photography of Perez. And then you see that after you get through your initial publisher notes, you start getting into individual testimonials. And these are handwritten testimonials by the individuals listed with their own pictures, photography. In this case from Tom Smith, you can see that it's a rarely seen piece We have a lot of what look to be convention sketches, a lot of, again, photography, some homage artwork like this one, artwork by Alex Garcia. Reworked, or reworked pieces, recolored by Scott Dutton. This is a art originally from DC Comics Presents 38. He redid some Star Trek, some Titans, Luciano Vecchio. I like this one, Joe Rubenstein offering up his work that he's done over the top of George Perez as a noted inker. These are pieces from the collection of Sean Clancy. A reprint of uh, some original cover artwork. You can see that, oh, in this case, this is Mike Perkins. So this is a piece that he inked over Perez. And then this is a collection of images from the 2022 Fetish Con. Pages from one of George's final projects were displayed in his honor. And so you get a nice combination of imagery there material that you just don't see elsewhere. Growing up with a com Boricua comic book legend by David Perez. So you get some family touch as well. Bob Layton. Scott Koblish. Bill Sienkiewicz right here. And you can see this was the piece that uh, they had for him at one of his, I believe this was at a Megacon um, ceremony to celebrate Mr. Perez. Romeo Tanghal. This is my piece. 
I wrote about I Never Met George Press. Did it in the format of the old DC Meanwhiles that Dick Giuliano did. And these are a few of my color guides. A couple of pieces from Crisis on Infinite Earths, from New Teen Titans, and then from JLA Avengers. Jerry Ordway. Dan Jurgens. It just goes on and on. This is hot stuff number one. They actually give you the link to the whole the whole piece of it. But this was done in 1974 by Paris. Wonderful reproduction. C.M. Beckett. I mean, it just goes on and on. All of these wonderful heartfelt testimonials. And then this last bit here by George Gustinus, and excuse me for the uh, for any uh, mispronunciations throughout. This is what appears to be his last uh, Perez's last interview, and um, it's really neat. It talks about the he does a nice retrospective on his career, and um, I love this. Says at the end, "Great, you take care, buddy," and then it says, "Take care, George. Bye, bye," and then rest in peace, George. But you can see that these are uh, some wonderful pieces. And the tributes just keep coming. Interview with Marv Wolfman. Oh, these are beautiful. Kent Milton did these. This is art by David Mack, who apparently climbed a pyramid in Mexico, perhaps after a show or during a show with Mr. Paris. Tom Brevoort from Marvel Comics. The number of sketches right there alone make this book worth purchasing. And then they wrap up with a nice section of George Perez on the internet links where you can go and see more about his stuff. And then a few of the bigger uh, names, you can see that they have some really nice uh, uh, advertising and links and the like. Um, I note that a few of them are offering commissions like Jerry Ordway and perhaps Romeo Tang Hall. And that's it. Again, wonderful book, wonderfully constructed, um, highly recommended, especially for those who love George Paris.